هلا 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 كيف حالكم شو اخباركم in this video we're going to be learning about interjections in arabic so interjections are words or sounds that kind of encompass or deliver a unique meaning just on their own so saying something like ouch in english or oh or ah things like that so we're going to be looking at two or three of these in arabic yalla Okay, so first off, the easiest one or one that exists in English as well is ouch, but we don't say ouch. To say ouch in Arabic, we say ach. Again, ach. So kind of like U-K-H sound or that, that's the kha sound. Ach. So you can use it like ach, ya dahri, ouch, my back. We, we say this a lot, ach, ya dahri. Even if like you didn't, there wasn't like direct contact like like something that happened right away you bumped into something or you fell sometimes you know if you have back pain you can say this is very common we say this um, of course is a if you hit something or um, you, you just want to express like ouch like you 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 hit your toe on the table this happens a lot to me uh, or anything, just like how you'd use ouch in English, but you won't say ouch, you say ach. So that's number one. Ouch, bil Arabi, in Arabic is ach. Okay? Number two, we have the expression wal, or wal, or wal, wal, wal. These are all the same. So you have, it's just wal, wal. And it you can either extend it, wal, and then you can kind of slice it up. So wal, 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 wal. And this is basically, it's kind of like a wow, but it's used when, when something is overly exaggerated. So for example, if you're going, um, you go to this falafel restaurant or falafel place and their falafel sandwiches are overly priced. Yani, you ask the guy, come, come sandwich the falafel, how much is the falafel sandwich? And he says, sandwich the falafel, bi ashar dananir, 10 Jordanian dinars, JD. Dinar is, by the way, the currency of Jordan. The plural form is dananir, just a fun fact, side fact for you. So if he says ashar dananir, you're going to be like, what? That's crazy. You can say, wal, 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 shu ashar dananir, what do you mean 10 JDs? That's ridiculous. So wal, like this. Um, another example of something, for example, if someone tells you something exaggerated, like the, the trip took us five hours, where it should have taken us like 30 minutes. You can say, well, for example, the trip took or the way took five hours. You're going to say, well, whoa, how come? Why? Okay, so that's another example. And then you can also use it, let's say, there's obviously many, many contexts and many, many scenarios of when this could be used. I'm giving you just a few samples so that you have an idea. Um, one other one is, let's say someone is complaining or yelling about something really silly. that doesn't really, like something that's not worth complaining about that much. And your reaction can be like, well, like, شو صار? Like, what happened? شو عملت? What did I do? Well, كل هاد, all this, just for like a small, whatever, small issue or something that's not worth it. You can say, well, okay, so that's number two. Well, or well, 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 if something's like too much, like well, well, you're seeing something that's ridiculous and it's overly exaggerated again. Well, 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 well. Let me know in the comments if you have heard well or well, 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 or well. And what was the, what was the scenario? What was the context, <clears throat> excuse me, in which you heard this? Comment, ahkuli with comments. Number three, we have the word yabai. Yabai, I know it's common in Jordan. Let me know what other places if you have heard it. If uh, you've heard it outside Jordan, yabai or yabaye, yabaye. You could use it for positive things and, and negative things. So it's kind of also like a wow slash, not really wow. It's more like, oh my goodness, how nice is this? So you, for example, you can say yabai, yabai shu hilu. Oh wow, how nice. Shu, in, in English you say how nice, how, how cool, how uh, cute, how exciting. In Arabic we say shu plus the thing, shu is what? So, شو حلو, شو, um, شو مشوق, how exciting, things like that. So, you can also use it for negative things. If someone's annoying, you can say, يباي شو زنخ, هذا زنخ. Again, this is, so this is Levantine Arabic, but particularly in this video, I'm, I'm focusing on some lingo that's used in Jordan. So, Jordanian lingo, the word زنخ can mean like someone that is annoying, okay? 
يبي so you can say شو زنخ how annoying but if you want to add more exclamation يبي شو زنخ you can say things about yourself like oh my goodness how tired I am or I'm so tired but it would sound like this in Arabic you could say I am so tired أنا تعبان كتير but if you want to use the يبي you would say يبي شو تعبان يبي شو تعبان my goodness how tired I am and you can also if you, again if you want to comment about someone else like like my goodness how stingy how stingy is he ya ya bai shu bakhil ya bai shu bakhil um but yeah again you can use it for positive things ya bai shu hilu oh how nice ya bai shu jamile oh how beautiful things like that okay so that's ya bai there you have it three common kind of sounds in arabic or expressions because i do have students asking me about ya bai and and well and how these could be used so hopefully these examples will give you a better idea of when to use them and how they're used okay let me know كمان مره بالكومنتس اجين is uh سمعتوا هذول الكلمات if you've heard these words before and where and what was the context okay so we have akh ouch and we had well or well 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 or well and then we had yabai or yabaye yabai and yabaye okay احكوا لي اذا فيها اسئله let me know if there are any questions بشوفكم الفيديو الجاي see you in the next video